So hello everyone. Welcome back to this video of uh, microcontroller model paper solutions. So in the last video, uh, those who have not seen it, you can refer it down first. That is the model question paper solutions for module one of both the sets. That is set one and set two. We have discussed all the solutions, most of the solutions. Some of the questions are pending that I'm going to be providing it soon. So now let's uh, discuss the module two questions. Okay, from uh, both sets, set one and set two. Okay. That is, that is the uh, first question is 3A, okay, from module 2. That is, explain five different kinds of uh, addressing modes with uh, of 8051 with example. So, this carries eight marks, okay. So, here we have provided uh, more than five addressing modes. There are uh, around 10 addressing modes. You can choose any five, okay, and uh, explain this thing. That is, one addressing mode is immediate addressing mode. Its definition along with one uh, simple uh, e e example uh, by writing it in the form of code. The next is the register addressing mode where we are using uh, registers in order to move or uh, add any uh, uh, instructions. Direct addressing modes, okay, we are using, uh, we are not using hash here and we are giving a direct address uh, for that accumulator which we are moving. Indirect addressing mode, we are giving an address through a register, okay, so that's why it's called as indirect. Indexed addressing mode or we can say that we are moving any uh, registers uh, with with the addition of the simple registers that is a uh, move c a comma uh, uh, at a plus dptr so this is our index addressing so similarly we have relative addressing absolute addressing long addressing mode bit inherent addressing mode and bit direct addressing mode a any five of them you can note it down so we have given the definition and examples so please note it down okay So the next question is about uh, 3A, uh, 3B that is we need to be writing the ALP code to multiply 16 bit number with 8 bit number and store the result in memory. So this question again uh, we have not provided it to you all we are going to provide it soon. Same goes with 3C okay. It carries 8 marks as well as 4 marks okay. So next question is 4A again this is an assembly language program or a code okay. So that's uh, so that uh, part we are going to discuss it when we are discussing the theory part of microcontrollers. So stay tuned in order to need uh, the solutions. If you want the solution for 4A, stay tuned to our channel. We are going to provide it uh, in a, a short amount of time. Okay. So next question is 4P. That is explain the rotate instructions uh, with examples. Okay. We need to be explaining all the rotate instructions. That is first uh, rotate is rotate RRA. It stands for rotate right. Okay, where the rotation takes place in the right direction, as you can see in this direction, the rotation takes place. Okay, the rotation takes place in this direction in a particular accumulator which consists of eight bits. For one by one bit, it is shifted to right hand side. Same goes with next instruction that is RLA, that is rotate left. Okay, and this time it is moving in the left direction. Okay, similarly, RRCA, that is rotate right through carry. Okay. That is, we are going to have one carry flag here. Along with that, we are going to have an uh, uh, 8 bit register accumulator. That is, again, the next instruction is rotate left through carry A. Again, same thing, left rotation. And here we will be having, along with that, we are going to having one carry flag. Here, okay. So, this was all about uh, rotate instructions. So, the next question is explain the following uh, instructions. Also, mention how many bytes it takes to store in one RAM. Okay. That is, first is DJ and Z. DJ and DJ and Z stands for decrement and jump if not zero. Okay, so it is a simple definition for that. That is uh, the instruction decrements the value in register R n where n ranges from zero to seven. We know that the register values ranges from R naught to R seven. Okay, and then checks if the result is zero. If the result is not zero, the program counter is updated to the address and specified to the address and causing a jump to that particular address. Okay, so the next uh, operands okay uh, required are from R naught to R seven. A relative addressing mode where the jump occurs if the result is not zero. So these are the bytes required. So the next is uh, JNC that is jump if no carry. Okay, the full form of JNC is jump if no carry. So this is the definition for that and the operands required are also are mentioned. Bytes required are JNC R of address that is any addressing mode from uh, R naught to R seven. The next is DAA. This stands for decimal adjust. Okay, decimal adjust after addition. The, this A stands for after addition, decimal adjust, okay. The instruction is used to adjust the value of accumulator register for a binary coded decimal operation. It ensures that the result of the binary coded decimal is arithmetic and correctly formatted, okay. So the accumulator register is adjusted here, that is A. So bytes required are DAA, okay. So the next instruction is move XA 
एट ए प्लस डी पी टी आर ओके मूव एक्स स्टैंड फॉर एक्सटर्नल मूवमेंट ऑफ एक्सटर्नल मूवमेंट ऑफ एनी रजिस्टर ओके सो दिस इज द डेफिनेशन फॉर दैट एंड मूव एक्स ए कॉमा एट ए प्लस डी पी टी आर मूव द कॉन्टेक्ट फ्रॉम एक्सटर्नल मेमोरी लोकेशन एड्रेस्ड बाई द सम ऑफ द एक्यूमुलेटर ए एंड द डेटा पॉइंटर डी पी टी आर टू इन टू द एक्यूमुलेटर ए ओके सो द ऑपरेंट्स एंड द बाइट्स रिक्वायर आर ऑल्सो मैंशन इयर ओके सो दीज वर द फर्स्ट सेट ऑफ मॉडल पेपर सोल्यूशन फ्रॉम मॉड्यूल टू सो नाउ लेट्स सी द सेकेंड सेट दैट इज मॉडल क्वेश्चन पेपर टू सोल्यूशन फॉर मॉड्यूल टू नाउ ओके Again, the, this is the second set of model question paper, module two. That is, first question is three A. Explain five different addressing modes with example. It consists of eight marks. Uh, we have discussed this already. Again, I am telling it to you all. We have ten kinds of different addressing modes. Any five of them, you can choose it and you can write it. Uh, definition along with the examples. Okay, simple code examples we have given for all the ten addressing modes. Okay, you can pause the video and you can refer it if you want. Okay, these are the ten uh, addressing modes up to. bit direct addressing mode okay so the next thing is again write an assembly level program to convert packed bcd number into two ascii numbers okay and store the result in uh this result should be stored in r5 and r6 respectively so this is again an assembly language code here so which and all are the codes are there in this model question paper that separate video i am going to make it to you all and provide it okay so stay tuned to our channel so when whatever codes are there we are going to make the separate videos of that okay so next list and explain the bit level logical instructions in 8051 so this question is again very very important question 3c okay okay it consists of six marks and here we have provided the explanation for you that logical and okay what is the explanation for that they have provided logical or logical xor logical not and fifth one is swap instruction okay so these are the five kinds of uh, bit level logical instructions okay and instruction we know that in uh, basic uh, basically it uh, used to uh, multiply any two bit registers same goes for or instruction addition of two bit registers xor means the whatever answer we are get its complement logical not means a single bit register its complement we are going to take it and complement is represented as cpl as its op code okay yeah swap instruction means uh, it swaps the lower nibble and the higher nibble for example if you put swap a before execution the value of accumulator would be 56 after it uh, gets swapped the bits would be changed okay so that's why the final of execution after the swap instruction is uh, commanded here the answer would be 65 okay so this is all about swap so the next question again define assembler directives and with an example all the assembler directives supported uh, by 8051 microcontroller okay so now we need to be discussing few of the assembler directives okay again it carries eight marks okay so the following are the widely used assembler directives that is origin org you know that its definition and from example equ or set instruction okay that is equate instruction is used to equate to, uh, uh, two values in the register okay and set instruction is to uh, uh, set means to start the code or set bit for example a set bit means uh, whenever the value of uh, any uh, binary value is zero in order if you put the set instruction it would be one okay so db this is the next assembly directive it's called as define byte so last assembly assembly directive after all the assembly language program the first line is org then the last line would be end okay so this end directive is the end of the assembly module okay this is the necessary in order to end any assembly level program this instruction is required okay so 4b question is again one uh, assembly language code okay that is to convert a binary coded number to packed bcd number okay the binary number is stored at 40h and the store the converted packed bcd number at 50h and 51h in the internal ram ram location so this carries six marks so it's code uh, it's not uh, available with me now but i'm going to provide it to you all in a few amount of time so the next question is 4c with the need diagram explain the range of uh, jump instructions okay so again we are having a, a, a many jump instructions the first is relative jump explanation for all of that then uh, advantages and its advantages and disadvantages okay all the points noted down okay instructions that use the uh, relative jump that is sjmp it's called a short jump jc jump if there is carry jnc jump if there is no carry jb jump jump if there is bit jnb jump if there is uh, no bit cjne compare and jump if there are not equal dj and z decrement and jump if they are not equal 
jump if it is zero jump it is if not zero then next is short short absolute jump okay again this is the explanation for that pause the video and you can refer it next is long call or long absolute jump l call okay ljmp jmp these and all are the examples another classification of jump instructions can be the uh, uh, what to say divided into two kind of jumps that is unconditional as well as conditional jumps so in unconditional jumps we have a long jump absolute jump and short jump as the types of unconditional jumps same goes with conditional jumps there are jbc jnb jb jnc jc compare and jump if they are not equal decrement and jump if they are non zero these and all are the conditional jumps and bit level jump instructions that is jb jnb jc jnc all of them okay so yeah these were the solutions for module 2 of microcontroller uh, one some of the smd language code i know that it's pending but uh, in a short amount of time we are going to provide those uh, solutions for you all okay so stay tuned to our channel okay but the other solutions we have provided to you all okay you can refer these uh, solutions here okay uh, these uh, solutions we have got from the uh, website called as az documents as you can see here it's written az okay this az documents is the uh, Uh, well, this AZ documents is a medium where we have uh, we have got this uh, kind of answers for you all. We have referred this AZ documents, okay? So it's this PDF and all for all the five modules. Notes would be separately provided to you all. It would be available in our description. So please check our description and uh, go to this AZ documents and uh, the the notes would be available there, okay? So that's why. So again, please refer these answers, okay? The description the link would be provided for these uh, uh, notes uh, for you all uh, for all the model question paper solutions so you can visit that uh, link and also like share subscribe and support our channel guys so please uh, share it with your friends okay or relatives or uh, anybody who you know and uh, support us guys okay thank you